chit chat Kit Kats. Well, I just, you know, I finished the reading on Nefertiti and I was just no idea. <laughs> but afterwards, I did watch the history of Nefertiti and I did put the link there, Most Hated Female Pharaoh. I didn't even know she was a pharaoh. Shows how much I know when it comes to Egyptology. But absolutely the reading did fit with what happened with Nefertiti. Uh, I was at first trying to figure out, well, how did these documents fit in? Well, because they were putting the new religion into place. The document, duh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and the difficulties she had there uh, with her reign and, and all the stuff that happened. So after I watched it, you know, first I did the reading, then afterwards I watched about Nefertiti, and it all makes sense now. Although when I was doing the reading, as in many times, it makes no sense to me, and I'm going, you know, what's up? What's up with that, you know? It said that they they looked at her like a fertility type of a goddess, so again, makes sense. Um, but I had no idea about any of this. And so that's the difficulty. You know, if I would have known about Nefertiti ahead of time, I would have been able to say, oh, okay, that represents that. When I got to the writings and stuff, I would have been able to key in on it and know what it was about, about immediately, rather than having to figure it out what it was afterwards. <laughs> but it makes sense now that why they, we had her standing in her power and we had the male, the queen and the king. Hello. <laughs> now, going back, I, I would look at the reading and I would see how it all fits together. But when I was doing it, you know, this is what happens when you're flying blind and you're just putting it out there and then trying to figure out how this fits. You know, it's the same thing a lot of times when I do personal readings for people. Um, I'm putting some stuff out there and it's not making a word of sense to me, but the person says, oh, I get it, I understand. Yeah, that, that all makes sense. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it at first going, what in the heck is this? Okay, but many times it's like that. You know, as readers, a lot of times we're going in flying absolutely blind. All I had for Nefertiti was a name. And all I knew about Nefertiti, believe it or not, was she lived in ancient Egyptian times. <laughs> I didn't even know she was a pharaoh. <laughs> Queen Nefertiti, of course. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness, sometimes all you can do is laugh. I didn't key into that, Queen Nefertiti, okay? No idea. But again, now that I think back on the reading, it makes sense. All of those things did fit together in, in making sense about the difficulty of her path and going forward and contracted where she was contracted, marriage to these things, and then bringing in the new religion that would have to do with the, the documents, the scribe and, and that type of things. Um, yeah. So I may have to go back and actually watch my reading again, <laughs> now that I've got some background. Oh, mercy. <laughs> sometimes, you know, you just have to laugh. You just have to laugh sometimes. But yeah, the more background you have, the easier it is. Same thing like doing the reading on Genghis Khan. I, all I know about him is a name and that he was pretty ruthless, you know. But then I saw a thing on him right after I had done the reading. I looked it up and saw that he was um, 
very close to his family and he had sons that took over um, and hope, he was hoping they would conquer the rest of the world. So he did have some sort of a relationship and he did marry somebody that was uh, very strong when it came to action as well. Um, but I guess then he did have a number of other wives as well, had many children, and he was absolutely ruthless. <laughs> really, really horrible. But he did have another side to him, apparently, um, which was interesting to see. And, it, you know, sometimes it's like that. It's like sometimes you see these ones, like I've watched a few of these things that, um, that these children of these serial killers, their father was a murderer, but they were absolutely lovely father to them. Okay, so can you imagine that? You're growing up and he's quite a lovely father to you, and then you find out he's gone out and murdered all these people. So that would be kind of a mind bender. Uh, you wouldn't think of a serial killer as having a compassionate side for his family, but sometimes they do. So uh, again, you know, there are some hidden aspects of things that we don't always see, um, but the, these are proving interesting to do. So thank you for um, asking about Nefertiti, and I'll see you online.